Are you frustrated by how long it's taking your tendonitis to heal? Well, I've got five science-backed tips to help get you on the fast track to recovery. Just FYI, number five is gonna piss some of you off. So feel free to politely disagree down in the comments section below. But do remember, I've got numerous medical journals backing me up. Tip number one, eccentric exercise. The main reason why you got tendonitis was because your tendon was too weak for an activity that you performed. It was either too heavy, too fast, or too many times, and the tendon began to fray with the accumulated microtrauma. The trick to getting back to your work or sport is strengthening your tendon through a full range of motion using slow, controlled, eccentric exercise. You need to use enough resistance so that the tendon is mildly irritated as you're doing the exercise, but it doesn't feel any worse the next day. This is important because the mechanical stress stimulates collagen growth and healing. While the slow eccentric loading makes it safe by reducing the shock load on your tendon. Numero dos. Take 20 grams of a type 1 collagen supplement every day. Once you've stimulated the healing process with eccentric exercise, taking 20 grams a day of collagen is actually going to give your tendons the raw material it needs to make them strong and healthy. Supplementation is particularly important after the age of 20 when our body's own natural production of collagen declines by about 1% a year. Three, take two to 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day. Ever have an old injury where you can feel the lumpy scar tissue? Feels kind of hard, doesn't have the same range of motion, it can actually be kind of tender for years on end? Well, high doses of vitamin C during the healing process has been shown to reduce those adhesions. Plus, it increases collagen formation and the tensile strength of your tendon. Fun fact, did you know that scurvy, which is caused by a severe deficiency of vitamin C, leads to bruising, bleeding gums, and old wounds to open back up? This is due to a breakdown of the collagen matrix. Your skin, blood vessels, and old scars literally fall apart without enough vitamin C. Did I forget to introduce myself? I'm Jamie Dreyer and I help people over 40 live long, vibrant lives through fitness, nutrition, injury prevention, mindset, and quality sleep. Hit the subscribe button to be notified when future videos are released. Number four, take 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3 every day. Vitamin D deficiency is strongly correlated with musculoskeletal weakness and pain. It greatly affects performance and functions as a modulator for up to a thousand different genes that are involved with cellular growth, immune function, and protein synthesis. In an NFL study, injured players had an average vitamin D level below 20, substantially lower than non-injured peers. And peak neuromuscular performance is associated with vitamin D levels of 50. You can easily get your vitamin D levels tested by your doctor. And if you find that you're deficient, you can look down below in the description box to find out protocols from the National Academy of Science to help you get them back up to an optimal range. Side note, vitamin D2 is actually less than a third as effective as D3. Number five, this is the one that tends to irritate people, but I'm just the messenger here. So here it goes. If you want to heal your tendon as quickly as possible, then you're going to do your best to avoid NSAIDs and cortisone injections, NSAIDs such as like ibuprofen and Tylenol. Now that you've stimulated the healing process and given your body all the raw materials it needs to build strong tendon, you're going to want to avoid NSAIDs and cortisone injections because they've been shown to actually inhibit collagen growth. Now I know you're probably in pain, so you can still ice it and get a massage, but if you really want it to heal as quickly as possible, then you're gonna do your best to avoid anti-inflammatories. If you found this video helpful, show me some love and hit that like button. And if you're currently dealing with elbow tendonitis, you can check out my video right here to learn my three-step process to help you fix it super fast.